Miami's history of having a mascot didn't actually start until much later in its history, more in the 1930s and 30s and 40s. But it all came from the 1800s. It rooted from uh, the pipe smoking during commencement tradition, where juniors and seniors would have wooden pipes and smoke them and dress up as uh, Miami Redskin Indians and um, would do that for about two weeks before commencement happened, and then afterwards they would keep doing it. And then the actual Indian, or the Redskin, didn't come around until 1910, where the Miami Student uh, School newspaper published an article that had a picture of an Indian on the headline in the corner. And then from there, it sprung up to fraternities and sororities in the 40s having homecoming events where they would decorate their houses and their parties and they would wear costumes, all with Native American themes. They would have redskins, logos and banners everywhere, they dress up as Indians, and that's really just where it all began. Marching band in uh, 1937, they had a, an Indian who would do dances. It was the idea of the music director at the time. Um, he thought it would bring back some of the lost Native American culture. So he told President Upham that uh, the New Indian Assembly would have their new fight song, the Miami Scout song it was called, and uh, they thought that would contribute something to the culture. The band would uh, form an Indian swastika out on the field actually when they were performing. It was like an Indian good luck sign. Um, they also would uh, dance to the tune of Ten Little Indians, and like oh, the crowds loved it. I mean, uh, even they said even people from the other teams, like fans who were there for the other team, would like join in and dance like in the crowd. Like it was all just good fun. Um, costume did have some changes. That whole Native American guy, uh, it got shirtless at one point. They did the feathers. They do the traditional hoop dance, and then. In uh, the 1955 season, they switched it back to the original costume they had gotten back in 1937. Uh, in 1964, there was a, a, big, uh, a big problem that happened. Uh, the student who was portraying the Indian uh, decided to ride out onto the field on this black and white horse named Diablo. Um, had no permission to do it at all. They had no idea what was going to happen. And as much as people may have enjoyed it in the crowd, the administration decided that that had to stop. And it's been forbidden in every game ever since. So in 1909, red and white became the official school colors of Miami University. And it became a commonly used phrase in the spirit song lyrics and it became the first nickname solidly used and it was created in direct reference to the school colors. In 1910, the phrase Old Miami was also used, but starting in 1916 with the three-year undefeated football season, it was accompanied by the three key players nicknamed Red on the football team and it caused several newspapers to reference the team as Big Red. And throughout the next few years, Big Red and Red and White became interchangeably used. The name Redskins was, a fir was first publicly and officially recognized in 1930 as an attention-grabbing strategy for sports promotion. And it was spearheaded by Ralph McGinnis and others in the athletic department. And that was really how the name Redskins came to be for Miami University. However, by the end of the 1980s, the controversy about Native American mascots was heating up on a, a national level. Each time a controversy existed on the national level, there was also a reaction uh, on the Miami campus as well. For almost 25 years, Miami University had asked uh, for the support of the Miami tribe of Oklahoma as a major justification for their continued use of the term redskin and portrayal of the Native American mascot. 
However, it was the Miami tribe that was a ter determining factor in the finally altered situation by asking Miami University to end the controversy by making a mascot name change. In September of 1996, the Miami University Board of Trustees voted to discontinue the use of Redskins out of respect for the Miami tribe. And in 1997, Miami University made the official change to Red Hawks.